heart was cold, lukewarm was I, when lo, I heard the midnight cry. I love to echo still that cry, behold the heavenly bridegroom's I'm a pilgrim, and I'm a stranger. I can tarry, I can tarry but a night. If the public will countenance such a quack pretender in his efforts to excite the minds of ignorant, superstitious people, they, as well as he, should bear the responsibility. The Republican Herald. We must speak out, and we will. These men are the worst enemies of God. The Olive Branch. The Second Advent delusion has proved the greatest calamity that has befallen us since our organization. General Convention of Baptists, 1846. When I look back, to the period when we began to publish the news of a coming savior. I think it the happiest time of my life. The glorious appearing of Christ is my only hope. To this I cling. William Miller. On the 22nd of October in 1844, as tradition has it, a group of people stood or sat expectantly from morning to night on a large rock ledge in a place then called Low Hampton, New York. Nearby in the front room of a farmhouse, a 62-year-old itinerant Baptist preacher sat reading a Bible and praying. These people, and perhaps hundreds of thousands more, from Portland, Maine to St. Louis to Washington, D.C., were called Millerites. Some had sold or given away all their possessions in the preceding days. Others had left crops standing in the field. They had eaten what they thought was their last meal on earth. They and William Miller, the man in the farmhouse, were waiting quietly for the end of the world.